basically he says input is uh, 72 33 13 31 23 29 right i hope you're able to read this right i'll, I'll just rewrite so that the font size is a little bigger 33 31 23 29 these numbers are 76 96 96 again then we have 25 we have 18 then we have 2.5 we have 8 and finally we have 5.5 now what is happening here understand how did we so we have got six numbers here six two-digit numbers 72 33 13 31 23 and 29 now in step one we have got only three numbers so six numbers have been reduced to three numbers what is the process that has been followed followed if you observe we we have we have linked the first number with the third one or fourth one second number with the fifth one and third number with the sixth one so what are the numbers the first one and third one the first one and the fourth one see 72 72 and uh, 23 sorry 72 and 31 results in 76 results in 76 right similarly if i have to explain you 33 and 23 these two result in 96 and this 13 and this 29 result in the third 96 now how do we actually get the 76 96 and 96 here understand you take the first digit of the first number and second digit of the link the number see 72 and 31 right 72 and 31 what are we doing we are multiplying 7 with 1 and 2 with 3 so 7 into 1 7 2 into 3 6 so we get 76 similarly if you take the next pair we have got 33 along with 23 so we multiply 3 with 3 and 3 with 2 so 3 into 3 9 3 into 2 6 then the third pair is what 13 and 29 so we multiply 1 with 9 we'll get 9 we'll multiply 3 with 2 we'll get 6 so this is how you have arrived at 76 96 and 96 76 96 96 then what do you do in the next step what do you do in the next step easy step 1 to step 2 now this is very important right this was step 1 right look at step 2 what has been done in step 1 the only point given in step 1 is the second step you look at this he says the second step uses at least one of the digits from each of the three number up to into get the next step so what has actually happened here you take all the first digits you take seven you take nine you take nine first digit meaning the tens place you take all the tens places seven nine and nine what is seven plus nine plus nine 18 and 7 25 that is the number given here 25 you take all the uh, units places right second digits otherwise 6 6 and 6 6 plus 6 plus 6 that is 18 that is the second number now i'm sure step 3 is easy to follow right what happens in step 3 you are dividing the units place by the tens place so 5 by 2 5 by 2 this is 5, this is 2, right? Units place by 10 place. 5 by 2, 2.5. You get 2.5. Here, units place 8, divide by 10 place 1. 8 by 1 is 8. So, you get 2.5 and you get 8. 2.5 and you get 8. And what happens in step 4? Step 4 is easy. Last step is easy, I'm sure. I mean, the moment you look at 2.5 and 8, and you get, see a result as 5.5, you know that it is difference. What have we done here? We have subtracted the first number from the second one. 8 minus 2.5 will give you 5.5. So, that's the step 4. Right, so step one was easy since the you know numbers used were indicated using arrows. Step two involves sum of all the tens places and sum of all the units places. Step three involves division of units place by tens place. And step four involves subtracting the uh, first number from the second number of step three. Okay, now we got to do the same thing on the given input. So the input is 42, 16, 52, 22, 17, 41. And based on this input, I think three or four questions have been asked. Yeah. So let me let me do the same thing on the given input now. See, here's the input. I, I'm writing the input 42, 16, and so on. So 42, 16, 52. We have 22, then we have 17, and we have 41. What do we do? In the first, the first number that we get here is a result of 42 and 22. What happens? 4 should be multiplied with 2, 8. And 2 should be multiplied with 2, 4. We get 84. The second number that we get is a result of 16 and 17. 1 multiplied by 7, 7. 6 multiplied by 1, 6. The third number that we get is a result of 52 and 41. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. So this is step 1. What is step 2? In step 2, what do we do? You add all the 
tens places 8 7 and 5 8 and 7 is 15 15 and 5 is 20 how to get the second number add the units places 4 6 and 8 4 and 6 10 10 and 8 18 what do you do in step 3 you divide the units place by tens place 0 by 2 0 by 2 is 0 0 by 2 is 0 8 by 1 8 we have discussed this in detail right in the illustration you divide units place by tens place 0 by 2 0 8 by 1 8 and what happens in step 4 you subtract 0 from 8 right subtract the first number from the second number so 8 minus 0 8 minus 0 is 8 so these are the steps step 1 2 3 and 4 now look at the questions the first one if the value 5 is added to the final output then what will be the resultant value what's the final output the final output is 8 we have to add 5 to it 8 plus 5 what will it be 13 option c is the answer right option c is the answer you understood look at the next question if we add both the number of step 2 then what will be the resultant value if we add both the number of step 2 now go back what are the numbers of step 2 20 and 18 if you add these two 20 plus 18 what will we get 38 that's your result right 38 option b and i think there's one more question yeah if you multiply second number of step 2 by 4 then what will be the resultant value? If you multiply second number of step 2 by 4, you have to multiply second number of step 2 by 4. What is the second number of step 2? Let me just go back to the expansion uh, solution there. Second number of step 2. Second number of step 2 is 18. Yes or no? Second number of step 2 is 18. 18 should be multiplied by 4. What is 18 times 4? 72. So answer should be 72. 72 is there? Yes. Option D. Option D will be the answer. 